welcome to Eclectic Cell Protection, Cell Defence Systems UK. Following on from our soft skills cell protection videos, this video will be encompassing all the details relevant to the term escape for real world self defence. Escape by definition means breaking free from confinement or control. I commonly see reading here escape being used as meaning running away. However, escape is much more than that and is in fact the prime reason for everything we do in a violent conflict. In a self-defense situation, escape also accounts for hitting and run, but there's other factors you need to take into consideration. Escape should be part of a game plan and not part of panicking. So what's about running away? Well, there's a number of problems with running away. Firstly, you need to be sure that you're physically capable of outrunning your attacker or attackers. If you're a 60 year old man, and you're confronted by a group of five 18 year olds who are fit and athletic, do you think you'll be able to outrun them? Probably not. Secondly, you need to be in a place where running is viable. You could be in an adverse situation such as a bus, a car, a taxi or a corner of the street, which will make running that much more difficult. Third, you've got to know where you're going to run to and where to get help. You should be aware that if you do begin to flee, your attackers may decide to chase after you. They may be locals, they may know the environment, and they may know the surroundings. So if you're going to run, you've got to know where you're going to run to and where to get help. Lastly, running takes up a lot of energy. In my opinion, it's probably better to save all your energy and put it up into one or two preemptive strikes until the assailant is away from you or down, always remember to use force that is deemed reasonable and proportionate to the threat. So running does have some merits, but it doesn't guarantee good advice. The second thing I want to talk about is compliance. If there's a group of 20 stone blokes confronting you trying to mug or rob you, it's probably a good idea to hand over all forms of wealth, such as your car keys, uh, your money, your mobile phone, your iPad, or whatever it is they're asking for only resort to physical action if you have to. Compliance should be one of a personal and individual choice. In some cases it may, may be good, in other cases it may be not good. Compliance is a form of escape but does not guarantee survival. So always remember this, compliance does not guarantee survival. The last thing I want to talk about is personal environmental restrictions. Your clothing, your fitness, the weather, your surroundings may all affect your ability to defend yourself. So we're just going to look at some examples of different scenarios and how they make defence that much harder. Firstly, I could be in the Arctic wearing heavy clothing, which will restrict my mobility and will make it much harder for me to defend myself. I could have uh, injured my arm and this could be in a cast, only leaving me with three limbs to attack with, therefore making it harder to defend myself. I could be ill or under the weather. When you're ill, all your energy gets drained out, so you're not going to have energy to fight off your assailants. I could be pushing a trolley with a baby. I could be walking my dog. I could be with my elderly grandmother. Having these things you care about will make defence that much harder. I could be having shopping or baggage in my hands, making defence harder. I can go on with countless examples, but you should make your own examples up and go through them so at least you've got that awareness about how these types of situations make your defence harder. So in conclusion, escape is much more than just hit and run. It's also about going physical on your attacker. It's about being compliant or not. And it's about understanding these types of situations such as your personal environmental restrictions. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. You can also check us out on www.eclecticcellprotection.com for more supported information and resources. Thanks again. See you next time.